Hello. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name is David Halanyaribor. I'm from Kenya. And what are you doing today? Um, today, basically, you'll come with me. I show you around my day. Um, today, I have rugby training. So, yeah. What does your morning routine usually look like? Um, usually, I I go for a morning jog at around 5 a.m. So, I need to keep fit for rugby. And after I'm done, I come up, grab a shower, wake up, have some breakfast. So, today, I'm a bit late, so I'm just having cereals. Um, then grab my bag and off to training by nine o'clock. Yeah, that's my morning routine on a Saturday. Yeah. delayed by for some seconds and <laughs> the bus had already gone so a friend had to take me to come for the fight. What made you want to pick rugby up again once you came to Japan? Um, I, I really want to like improve my fitness, so like I, I figured if I join APU Rugby, I'll be engaged in the extracurriculum activities. And it's, it's a good way to, to engage yourself with like the Japanese, the diversity, and to embrace like the environment APU offers. When you were joining the rugby team, what was the process like? Was it difficult? Um, I would say it's... It's fairly easy, so I just messaged the Instagram page and you, you have to submit your details, your name, your ID card, your age. Then they'll, com they'll register you with the student office and they'll tell you to come to training and that's it. Wow, that yeah. sounds extremely straightforward. Yeah. So could you tell us about your first training session, um, how you felt? My first training session, I was a bit nervous because I didn't know what to expect. Uh, first of all, I was the only international student, so but uh, they were really welcoming. Uh, they embraced me well, and it was it was a training session to remember. Yeah. And was it easy initially? Um, at first, I wouldn't say it wasn't it wasn't easy because of the language barrier, because it's the all Japanese, so the explanation everything is in Japanese, so it's hard to clock or uh, what's going on. But as, as time progressed, I think I've, I've, I'm improving, improving my Japanese, so I think I'm fitting in much better as when I, be, I first began. Okay. Can you explain? What does it say? What does it say? Uh, he, uh, this, 
This is after the kick, so yeah. everyone's going back, the yeah. opponent, yeah. and they're going to come back. So we we want to hide him yeah. from the opponent, so yeah. they, they get confused. Okay. Then uh, we also do a blocker, this move. Okay, like a dummy. Yeah. Okay. Is it like a fight? Awesome. <laughs> ready? Yep, ready. So, could you give us a quick introduction? Let us know your name. So, um, I'm second grade. Uh, my name is Kai. Uh, I played rugby from university, so it's my second year playing rugby. Perfect. And when did you and David first meet? That was, yeah, in first grade, I think, yeah. First grade? Mm -hmm. So, did you meet before you started playing rugby? No, no, I, uh, when I came into rugby, when I joined, yeah. And, um, what made you decide that you were going to help him when he doesn't understand? Okay, uh, because I was the only one who can speak English, so, uh, and I, I was in Germany, so I, I, I was in an international school, and I, like, to speak with people in English, so yeah. What is one thing mm -hmm. that you find interesting about David? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so he he knows really really all, all about uh, rugby. So he can teach me rugby, and I can speak uh, teach him Japanese. So I think we're in a good conversation. Same level? Yeah. Awesome. That is awesome. That was a good question. Yeah, okay. right, that was Thank awesome. you. Thanks, man. Have a great day. Um, I've had very many good experiences but if i was meant to pick one i think it was last year when we had a march in fukuoka so just the general the entire trip like going as we had a good time bonding with each other going to fukuoka and i think the game was it built character in us because we showed a lot of fight and we although we didn't win and get the result we wanted we we, it was a stepping stone for stepping stone for this season. Yeah, it was a good experience. Um, we bonded each other, and it was great. What would you say to anyone who's watching us at home and might be worried about, you know, the language barrier and not being able to pursue their passion because the language barrier stands in their way? Yeah, uh, that, that, that's a major problem, especially with like Africans at APU because the people want to be engaged in extracurricular activities but the language barrier is there so my advice to them is you can't achieve something without trying so you have to first try because my japanese isn't perfect or uh, the people who i train with their english isn't perfect so my advice to you is just keep trying keep improving because through rugby i personally have improved my japanese uh, rugby of uh, speaking to my teammates every day in japanese it's it's boosted my Japanese level to something I wouldn't have gotten in a classroom.
Hey guys and welcome to our new series, Beppu Through an African Lens. So happy you could join us and if you love today's content, make sure you like, subscribe and share as wide as you can and make sure that you're here for the next video. What does the last half of your day or the last quarter of your day look so like? I usually come back home at around 9. I first thing I take a shower, um, I, I have, I prepare a snack, a small onigiri, um, then I go like catch up on some work, study some Japanese, some kanji, catch up on YouTube, social media, then by around 10 I'm asleep, it's been a long day, yeah. You can imagine, that's yeah. a solid, solid timeline. Yeah. And how, how much does your schedule differ from the schedule that we witnessed today? Um, during school days, uh, I probably won't wake up as early as I did and uh, probably uh, things like meals is more organized because today I just breakfast and dinner because I usually don't have time to have lunch because I have lunch but now with my friends at a, at a later time but not like during normal days where I'll have it like at one. But, and I usually sleep much later. I usually like at one because I have to study by right now. After training, straight to bed. It's been a long day. Mm. So how do you balance your academics and your training? Yeah, like actually, in fact, I balance three things. My academics, training, and BITO, because mm. part-time job. Oh, it's, it takes a lot of discipline. I have to get my priorities. I can't just be training every time. So I've set, we have four training sessions a week, so I can attend two. And the rest I set time for studying because first of all, my GPA has to be uh, top notch. That's first priority, then training can come later. 